Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Ace here. Uh, some of you guys may already know me, but for those of you that don't, uh, my name is Mr. Ace, like I said, and I used to be a teacher at Keller Elementary for five years. Um, let me just say that I absolutely loved it and I miss it oh so much. But today, I am not here to talk to you guys about me being a teacher and how wonderful it was. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about a job that I used to do way back when, before you guys were even born. I'm talking about maybe 14 years ago uh, that I was doing this job, which was absolutely awesome. But anyway, I can't exactly tell you about it uh, myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a really special friend of mine. Guess from where? The past. And I'm going to need your help to bring him here so he can tell you all about it. All right. It's going to be a little trick. All right. And you're going to help me count to three so he can come back. Ready? One, two, three. Where am I? This is a room, but I was just in, I was doing, I, wait a minute. I think Mr. Ace brought me back from the past again. Must be for a good reason. So I'm going to look for some, ah, uh, there's a note right here. I knew he brought me back for a reason. Let me read this really quick. Dear Corporal Aceves, that's me. I have brought you from the past because I wanted you to see if you can talk to these kiddos about what it is like to be in the Marine Corps. Huh. Well, lucky for you guys, I love talking about the Marine Corps. And, well, snap, he left me a cup with a lot of different questions uh, that he's going to ask me and that I'm going to answer for you, all right? So let's do this really quick. So first of all, before we begin with the questions, all right, I'm going to introduce myself really quickly. Uh, uh, um, make sure that everything is nice, right? And... My name is Corporal Aceves, um, and I am a United States Marine Corps. Now, I'm pretty sure that Mr. Ace kind of gave you a little bit of a story about what's going to happen over here. So basically, I'm going to retell it. I'm going to be telling you about what it is like to live as a Marine, right? Because a lot of people think that it's like, oh, great, and you get to do this, and you get to do that, and shoot guns, and practice this, and, you know, all... all kinds of cool stuff and yeah it is pretty much all that but there's a lot more work that goes into it and believe it or not there's a lot that I did before joining the Marines that actually influenced what I am doing right now but I'll get to that in just a little bit so I think without further ado let's dip our fingers into these questions all right let me crumple this really well First one says, what is your job? All right. So my job, the actual title is a communications technician. Uh, what is a communications technician, you, may, you ask? Um, it is a person who works with radios. And I'm not talking about like a CD player or an MP3 player or whatever it is. No, we're talking about communication radios, right? So like you see in war movies, they have these radios where they can call for help, you know, to other places like Alpha Bravo, send help over, Roger that, that kind of stuff, right? So I used to work with that, right? Basically, if those radios broke down, then I used to go in there and I used to kind of try and fix them, right? Make sure and kind of look for all the stuff that might be going wrong with that. Um, myself, I used to be in the field, which means that wherever the tanks that had the radios in were, that's where I was. It was kind of like taking your nurse on a field trip, right? If something goes wrong in the field trip, boom, she's already there and she's the one helping you out, right? Um, I was basically there already and I was ready to fix those radios. If those radios possibly couldn't be fixed, then I would basically take that radio and I would take it back to my truck where I had spare radios and I would take one of those good ones, 
put it into the tank and reprogram it, right? And take the broken one back with me whenever we went back to actual base. And I used to go and talk to other uh, communications technicians that would actually specialize in actually going inside the radios and fixing them. I'm gonna pick another up. Oh, I dropped one. Let's see what it is. How long are you doing it for? How long am I joining the Marines for? Well, as of right now, the plan is that I'm going to be doing the Marine Corps for four years. So you can do the Marine Corps in increments of four years. So basically, if you're in for four, you can renew for another term, but that's going to be another four years. So you're going to be doing a total of eight years, right? So I'm only choosing to do four years of active duty, which means that four years of wearing the uniform, living on base, and basically the Marine Corps being my full-time job. In the beginning, I wanted to do it for 20 years, which is great because you can retire from that. But after I got in here, I decided that I had more interests. So what I want to do actually is I want to leave the Marine Corps after four years and be able to use the GI Bill, which the military gives that to me because I've, I dedicated four years of my life to them and they're going to be paying for my school to become something else. Spoiler alert, you guys might already know this, but in the future, I will become a teacher and guess what? The military paid for me to go to school to become a teacher. Let's choose another question. And here we go. Let's see. This question is asking, what is your rank? Ah, oh, that is a very good question. All right. So first of all, what is a rank, right? A rank is basically different levels of Marines, right? And it ranges from an E1, right? All the way up to a lot of different, you know, a lot of different ones. I am an E4 right now, which is called a corporal of the Marine Corps, right? You can see my chevron right here. It's a double chevron, right? Um, everybody starts out being an E1, right? Uh, which is basically your private, right? Then uh, if you're a private, you have nothing. So it's like, there's nothing there. As an E2, which is a private first class, right? You get, let's see if you guys can see them, you get only one of these chevrons right here, right? I have two, you only get one, and that's it. As an E3, you move on to the next one, right? You become a Lance Corporal. And what that is, is again, it's just one, but then at the bottom you can see these little things that look like two rifles that are crossing just like that. And then an E4, which is what I am, you get two chevrons with the cross rifles in the middle, right? You get to keep going, right? You can make, after a corporal, it's a sergeant, then it's a staff sergeant, then it's a gunnery sergeant. But me, right now, I am a corporal. So you can call me Corporal Aceves. Pretty interesting questions over here. Why the Marines? <laughs> Why the Marines? Let me say, because I wanted a challenge. Growing up, I used to watch all these commercials that you know advertised for the Marine Corps, right? And it was the few, the proud, the Marines. People talked about the Marines that it was the the best branch. I think all the branches are really cool, right? But I will say the Marine Corps um, is very physically demanding. They are the ones that put you through the most rigorous process to become a Marine. Basically, what they want is they want to have, create, they want to create a Marine that will be strong physically and mentally, right? So I wanted to give myself a really good challenge and that's why I decided to go into the Marines. Did you need any school for this? Okay, well the answer to that is yes. However, you don't need that much school, but I will tell you guys a little secret that my recruiter told me when I told him that I wanted to join. You need to do well in school because when you go into the Marine Corps, they give you a test, right? And this test is going to measure how good you are in math, in English, and other subjects, right? That are going to tell them how great 
of a thinker you can be, right? Problem solver, you know, in math and all that. And the higher you score, the better job you can get in the Marine Corps. And needless to say, um, I will say that because I scored pretty high in the ASVAB, um, which is a test, right? I got to be the communications technician working with the radios like I'm doing right now, right? If you don't do that well, you don't get that many options, right, to pick uh, from different jobs. So would I say that school is very important in, in the Marine Corps? Absolutely. And let's not forget, while you're in the Marine Corps, you also take other courses, other classes, right? And you need to, you need to pass them because if you don't pass them, you don't get to pick up rank. You don't get to go from an E1 to an E2 to an E3 and so forth, right? If you don't do well in your studies. So school, pretty important. Next question is, God, these are really crumpled up. Um, weekly schedule. All right. My weekly schedule, the normal one, is Monday through Friday from about 8 in the morning to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. In other words, 0800 to... Um, 1600 right that's military time for you guys um if you're training if you're out in the middle of nowhere it goes from monday through sunday you never stop working right uh sometimes if things if really important things are happening sometimes you work on a saturday but the great thing is that when holidays come along not only do you get the holiday but you get the days before and after for that holiday so sometimes you end up having a four-day weekend, which is like the coolest thing ever. And I forgot to mention, aside from being eight in the morning to four o'clock in the afternoon, you also have to wake up early, like 5.30, so that you can go in PT, which means physical training. You have to do exercises with your platoon um, every other day and sometimes every day too, right? So you have to wake up extra early and then you get to come back, take a shower, get ready, and then you go to work eight to four. Right, and then you repeat that again every other day. Next question. How old were you when you joined the Marine Corps? Well, I was 24 years old when I joined the Marine Corps. Actually, I was pretty old compared to the other people that were in there. All right. Usually you join really young-ish, around like 18, 19, 20 years old. I was 24, so I was significantly older than a lot of the people who were the same rank that I was. When I am about to leave the Marine Corps, you know, sometime here in the future, I'm going to be 28 years old. This is fun. Who do you work for? All right, I've been saying this probably throughout the whole entire video right now, and I work for the Marine Corps, right? That is what I am, who I am, who I work for. Ultimately, the Marine Corps um, is at the disposal of the president, right? So if the president needs an emergency, hey, we need to, you know, act quickly and we need to send guys ASAP to a different country, the Marines are the people that he is going to send. Everybody else, the Army, the Air Force, uh, other people have to decide and have to take a vote and say, yeah, let's send them over. The Marine Corps, however, us, we are the ones that if the president says, you go now, you go right now. Let's see. Oh, last question. Come on, the hardest one to open to. Three to five skills that you need in order for me to do this job. Oh, that's a really good question. I feel like you need a lot of really good skills, but a lot of those are skills that you develop as you grow up. Um, specifically to my job as a communication technician, uh, you need to be able to be patient because a lot of the stuff can get confusing. And if you give up really easily, right, um, then it's not going to work out for you. So you need perseverance, first of all, right, um, and the patience. You need to be flexible because in the military, a lot of things change, right? They can tell you to meet at 5 o'clock in the morning and you get there, you know, at 4.45. Nope, we're going to meet at 6 o'clock in the morning. You can't do anything about it, right? If you had other stuff planned, then you need to be flexible to be there at 6 o'clock. Or if they say, hey, we're going to meet on Wednesday, um, and then Tuesday morning comes along and they say, nope, just kidding, we're meeting today. 
then you have to be flexible enough to change your plans around and meet on Tuesday because, you know, that is your job, right? Patience, flexibility, uh, you need to have pride in your work, right? Because what you do there uh, basically reflects the type of person, the type of Marine that you are. If you take pride in what you do and you do a good job every single day and you stand by that great work, then people are going to know you as a great Marine, right? And that's who you're going to be. You need to be a good problem solver. In communications, right, with the radios, sometimes I don't know what's wrong with the radio. Sometimes I can't fix it. Sometimes I draw a blank. And I have to be able to just go back to step one. And it's kind of like a puzzle, right? You go in one way and then you go this way and you're like, oh, it didn't work. Let's go back and try another way, right? You have to be able to not only be patient with that, right? But you have to be a great problem solver when it comes to that. To be able to think about different ideas or think outside the box, right? About what's going to fix what's going on at that moment. I think that's basically all that kind of took me through, that, it's, that is getting me through the Marine Corps right now. And then the very last one, pros and cons. What are the pros about the Marine Corps and what are the cons about the Marine Corps? The cons, which are like the not so great things, which I don't have that many because I love being a Marine. But I would say that if you don't like to get up early in the morning, that's a con, right? Because even though you don't like to get up, if you don't get up and if you oversleep, they are banging at your door and they're waking you up. Um, sometimes you don't get a weekend off. Sometimes you spend a lot of time away from your family. And to me, family is very important. Um, and that could be a con as well. As far as a pros, the really good things about him is that you get to learn a new skill, right? Which is your job uh, in the Marine Corps. You get to meet a lot of people from different parts of the country and I think that is absolutely amazing because you get to meet people who you can call your brothers and sisters from different states they come from different backgrounds they are a different color of your you know from your skin they are different ages they have different beliefs they have different many things but you all come together and you are all the same when you put on this uniform, you are all equal and you learn to live that way, right? You gain a family that will be forever yours. Not only that, but I get to work around super duper cool equipment like tanks, right? And different trucks, right? I get to be, uh, I get to carry, you know, two different types of weapons. Uh, I used to carry an M16 and then a uh, a nine millimeter, you know, with me. Um, and that's pretty cool. You get to practice with your weapons. You get to go out into the desert and, you know, do simulations with your Marines. You get to see tanks shoot down the range. And it's like this awesome thing. Overall, I would say the best part about being a Marine is you are a part of something great and you are a very important piece to this great puzzle that you are a part of, all right? Anyway, I wanna thank you guys for listening to my long story about being a Marine, and please do not forget that you need to do well in school because everything you do now is going to affect your future. Just ask Mr. Ace from the future, and he will tell you that everything that I am doing right now in the past is going to affect his future. I want to thank you guys for listening to all of this. And if you have any questions, hey, ask Mr. Ace because I have got to go back to work back in 2009. Well, I'm going to try a little trick of my own and I am going to hopefully, for my own sake, be able to get back to work, right? And bring Mr. Ace back to his time, right? So, like I said, take care, guys, and I'll see you later. It worked. All right, guys, so how was that? Did you guys learn a lot uh, from my past self? Anyway, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to listening to my old stories, right? 
And uh, hopefully I will be back to see you guys one day soon. All right. Take care, guys, and see you next time.